Hello children, how are you all? What are you all doing? Studying or now? So, seeing you after long time, ready for the new lesson? First tell me how many of you all have moved in different means of transport? How many of you all have traveled in different means of transport? How many of you all have used cars, scooters, rickshaws, auto rickshaw? and bicycle so many of you all must have gone in different means of transport na these means of transport take us to different places we go to so many places and it depends on us that which transport we need we need many types of transport but the transport that we use depends on our urgency how urgent we are to reach a place how uh, we are uh, wanting to reach that place soon that is that matters a lot and if we want to go coolly use any type of transport to go to a near place to go to a far off place you have to use different types of transport sometimes we have to go by train sometimes you have to go by flight aeroplane sometimes we have to go on a motorbike or scooter sometimes you have to go in a bus even there are many transport means of transport that we use in the villages so the villagers don't have all these means of transport why because the roads are not so good so very fast moving uh, means of transport cannot be used in the villages and that's why slow means of transport are used over there like bullock carts camel carts no horse carts and some uh, different means of transport used by petrol or diesel which move those transport also we are using in the villages like tractors the tractor trolleys and trucks because we need to transport all the goods to different places from the village in the village is um, uh, the place from where we get all our food like rice wheat dal all pulses all these things we get from the village and that's why villages are very important the farmers are very important for us so we need such type of transport which can transport all the goods from the village to the cities and same way from cities when these means of transport return back villagers also need something from the cities which are made in the cities which are manufactured in the factories they need to sell them in their village so those who want their all those goods from the cities come to the village and they use all the uh, things which they have brought from the cities they sell in their shops so children i'm sure you are going to rock and understand this lesson very well and enjoy always remember children enjoyment is very much necessary when you are full of enjoyment when you are eager to learn and you will be able to understand in a proper way so that's why keep rocking and learn everything very fast so i will take you to the screen be ready all of you and be good always be happy cheerful and full of life ready to go to the screen yes i'm sure my children are ready to go to the screen come on so we will go and see this lesson good morning children welcome to lesson 11 let us travel part 1 key points in the lesson introduction number 1 number 2 means of transport number 3 rural transportation number 4 coastal and hilly areas transport then number 5 animals in transport 
so we are going to see this lesson children i'm sure you are going to understand it in a very nice way you will listen to the video and do everything according to the lesson you will read the lesson and you will also write in good handwriting everything whatever i gave so let's get started all of you now in this lesson we are going to see uh, a girl named sonali she is going to get married and many people are going to come to her village in order to attend her marriage ceremony and they come by different means of transport so you see that all the means of transport that are used for her wedding for her people coming to her uh, marriage ceremony you note down all those means of transport so let's read this part sonali works in gurgaon gurgaon uh, is a place in the north near delhi and she is working over there she is getting married in meerut but she is not getting married in gurgaon in another city she is getting married in meerut Her sister Neha and her husband are coming from Dubai by an aeroplane. So you see, one uh, means of transport is mentioned here, aeroplane. Her uncle's family is coming from Ahmedabad by train. Another means of transport. Her grandparents are coming from Delhi by car. Her friends have hired a taxi to take them from Delhi to Meerut. to attend the wedding her relatives who live close by would be coming by auto rickshaw cycle rickshaw bus scooter motorcycle car or taxi so so many means of transport you have seen in this part are being used by sonali's relatives and friends and let us see those means of transport that are being mentioned here So let's get started here. Means of transport used by people who came to attend Sonali's marriage: aeroplane, train, car, taxi, auto rickshaw, rickshaw. Then some more means of transport: bus. These are the bu- different types of buses. This is a double decker bus. below also there is seating arrangement and on top also you there is a, sta- a stairs there and from those stairs the people go to this part also in the bus so the, this type of buses are not in every city but in delhi you will find these type of buses so buses motorcycle scooter these were the different types of means of transport used by who sonali's friends and relatives who came to attend her marriage ceremony people use different means of transport for traveling we all are using different types of means of transport to go from one place to another and you, the means of transport as i told you earlier also the selection depends upon the time and the money they want to spend on travel if we want to reach fast we want to just go no matter how long it takes we are going by a slow moving uh, means of transport no problem but when we want to reach uh, fast and if we have the money then we can go in different means of transport which are very fast if we want to reach a far off place very quickly air travel will be the choice so very quickly you want to go you want to reach a place air travel then but train travel gives a better chance to view the scenery as the train passes through different places many of us like to travel by train and sit near the window why because we get to see so many sceneries and all no so you also must be wanting to go by train always instead of going by air transport air transport once you go up in the sky you can see only clouds so 
train is the best choice sometimes for all of us. Moreover, railways are ideal for transporting heavy goods and are economical. Ideal means best. And economical means they, we don't have to spend so much money as we have to spend in the flights or in the aeroplane. We can transport very heavy goods through the trains also by the trains. So that's why train transport is good. Road transport like cycle, rickshaw, car, bus, etc. is the best choice for traveling over short distances. It provides door-to-door -door service from one door to another when we are going to a, a shop we can go by the cycle immediately to the shop buy the things and come back to our door and that's why uh, this road transport is very good and you will notice that there are many people who like to go by the road transport if you stand on the main road in a small town in the morning in a very small town, if there are some factories and all nearby, when you stand near and uh, on the road, on the main road, you would see hundreds of workers, laborers riding on bicycles to go to their workplaces. Many laborers, you will find them going to their workplaces where they work, that place they go by what? Bicycles. It's like this, you can see in the picture, like this they go on the bicycles to their workplace. A similar scene can be seen in the evening when they are coming back from their work. When they come back from their work, you can see the same scenery there coming back from work, going to their work and coming back to their work from their work. So rural transportation is the next thing that we are going to see. Rural means village areas all the transportation that we see in the villages we are going to see in this part farming is the main occupation in most rural areas all of you all know that when we go to villages the main uh, occupation is farming the farmers earn money through it through doing by doing farming vegetables and fruits are perishable items Perishable means they get rotten very soon, they get spoiled very soon. Uh, one day only they can remain outside, but when we buy them at home, then we keep them in the fridge two, three days, it will last. But outside the fridge, it will not last for long. So they are very perishable items, they get spoiled very soon. They are transported on daily basis to nearby cities and towns in bullock carts. So when they are transported, from the village to the nearby towns by bullock carts in a bullock cart and you must have seen bullock carts many of you belong to villages so you have seen bullock carts you must have sat in a bullock cart and very enjoyable ride you must have had in the bullock carts so tractor trolleys or trucks by bullock carts, tractor trolleys, these are the tractor trolleys and these are the trucks. In these also the villagers, they transport all their goods which they uh, have grown in their farms. They want to sell it and earn money. So they send it to the nearby towns and villages. Similarly, after the harvesting of wheat and rice, trucks laden with gunny bags make their way on the rural roads to the nearby towns or cities and same uh, thing you will see uh, wherever harvesting takes place cutting of the crops of wheat and rice so you will find the trucks laden with gunny bags these are the gunny bags they are known as bori in hindi eh? they also keep moving uh, uh, on the roads rural roads to nearby cities and towns with gunny bags. So children, do you know that if you see a large number of bullock carts laden with sugar canes, when you see uh, many bullock carts moving one by one, one by one, and these are laden with sugar canes lined along a road you will know that there is a sugar mill around where sugar is made sugar factory so 
immediately you will understand there is a sugar factory if you see uh, cotton laid uh, the bullock carts laden with cotton you will understand there is some cloth industry textile industry so seeing the goods you will be able to understand where these things are going so the goods carried by different means of transport give us a clear indication about the crops grown in that area when we see that some particular crop uh, particular goods are being transported the farm goods you will be able to understand that there is something nearby which uh, the, the people are very much eager to sell it in the factories to earn money so the bullock carts tractor trolleys or trucks loaded with agricultural goods go from villages to cities so all the goods which are grown all the crops which are grown in the farms of the village they go to the cities and then you see when they go back as i told you when they go back to the villages from cities they are laden with gas cylinders light machinery textiles scooters etc so many things come back to the villages from the cities and they sell these things in the shops which they have all of them are made in factories in towns and cities do you know means of transport form a bridge between rural and urban areas this is a rural area village area and this is urban area a city area so these means of transport they form a bridge means they act as a bridge connected they connect the rural areas with the city areas the city areas are connected with the villages because they also need the people who are living in cities they also need food and all to eat so from where the food comes from the village the villagers need many other things from the cities and from where it comes from cities so that's why very important both the parts are connected with one another in coastal areas the fishermen use boats to transport fish and other seafood items this is the coastal area children and you will find that in coastal areas also boats and all are used to send all their goods to different parts sometimes steamers and ferries equipped with cold storage are used to transport fish steamers and ferries they are smaller means of transport which are used in the sea but they have cold storage system now if you want to send uh, any uh, sea items like fish and prawns all these things go to other cities in the cold storage like how we have fridge no at home and we keep many of these things in the freezer same way these big big fridge sort of thing they have in the ships and ferries and boats steamers and then they send their goods like this the fishermen they use the steamers and ferries these are the different steamers and ferries which you are seeing just now do you know a coastal area is the place where the land meets the sea this is the coastal area the land and this is the sea both these meet each other uh, and we call it coastal areas then same way you will find here this is sea and this is land shown over here how the coastal areas are very important for the fishermen and the people uh, get fish and other seafood through the boats and steamers ferries through the sea it comes to the coastal areas similarly on the hilly areas mules are used for transporting goods along with pitus they are known as coolies this is a pitu and you will find in the hilly areas these are used this um, mule is the you can say the offspring of a horse male horse and a female donkey 
born out of male horse and female donkey that is called a mule and this mule is very strong so that's why all the goods are put on the back of the mule and the coolie comes behind the p2 is he is known as p2 also comes behind the mule and tries to guide it where it has to reach where all the goods have to reach so animals in transport now we are going to see some more animals which are used in transport system animals play an important role in rural transportation a bullock cart or a horse cart can go up to the farm you see any type of uh, rural transportation should be ready or such type of facility should be there so that it can reach the farm in order to get all the farm goods to sell it to the market in the market in the nearby towns and cities so this you can see bullock cart horse cart and this is the farm and this is the farmer very much necessary for the farmers so that all the goods are laid in in the bullock carts and horse cart and are sent where to the cities and towns so this helps the farmer to load the vegetables fruits easily for quick transportation this is the farmer and you will find that the farmer uses all these means of transport in order to send the goods fast so you see some more bullock carts and the goods laden on the carts bullock has been a farmer's friend since olden times since olden times this bullock has been you call bell also in hindi is a very good friend of the farmer why because it helps the farmers in many ways the farmer has used it to pull water from the well plow the fields and transport the goods to the market most farmers take good care of the animals all the farmers they treat their animal with great care they look after them and take uh, give them good food keep them properly love them and this we all should do so the camel carts are a common sight on the roads of bikaner and other places of rajasthan you see even we have camel carts and you will find these camel carts on the roads of bikaner bikaner in rajasthan this is the map of rajasthan and this is our india this corner this is rajasthan and in rajasthan this part is bikaner here you will find many camel carts which are loaded with goods from the farms to go to the nearby cities and towns a cart is loaded with sacks of red chilies or other items you see red chilies these are red chilies you say mirchi in hindi hai na lal mirch and other items are also loaded on the camel carts and you see these are the pictures of red chilies you must have seen red chilies your mummy uses in the food preparation at home you have seen and ah it is very 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 hot and spicy you when you eat too much your tongue will sting you you will feel very hot in your tongue and you will want water so that's why spicy food is not very good the camel is beautifully decked up with tassels and bells the owner addresses the camel as his son and pats him affectionately you see all the uh, owner of the camel they decorate the camels with so many types of decorative items like tassels these are the different tassels then bells you can see and these are different more uh, different decorative item and the owner calls this camel as his son 
and fat same like how your mommy and daddy when you do some good things they pat you on your back no slightly with gently with their hands so you see do you know all animals must be treated with kindness whether old cows stray dogs camels or elephants we must treat them with good uh, way in good way and never ill treat them never harm them never throw stones at them never bully them this is how we can treat the animals very nicely in kind way and they also help us so that's why we should always look after them so children i'm sure you have understood this lesson and you will do very well very good you will do all the exercises and send me on time so this is the end of the lesson and i'm sure you are going to rock it and do so well that all will say oh my goodness so well these children are studying they are very intelligent so this type of compliment you must get from others stay home stay safe stay save lives so if you stay in the house you stay safe then you will definitely save other people's lives and your own life also so that's why never go out too much never play outside don't mix around with people and i'm sure you are going to follow all these rules you're going to be cheerful happy and always full of life so thank you children for listening and watching this video and i'm sure uh, you are going to obey your parents also whenever they ask you to study you will study so bye for now till i meet you in the next part of this lesson one more part i will be taking and just now i have finished rural transportation and now i will take up the next transportation the urban trans transportation so have a nice day